Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the heading tags in a show it site. Um, so it's actually really, really easy. All you have to do is click on any bit of text and come over to text properties. And in here you can set whether you want it to be an H1, an H2, H3, navigation, or just a standard paragraph text. Um, most bits of text on your site are probably going to be paragraphs. The general rule of thumb is that the H1 should be the most important bit of text that really says what the page is and you only want one of those per site and then any other smaller headings you'd want to make um, H2s or H3s. So this is kind of a smaller one so I have this one set to be an H3 um, like these ones right here might be good to make H2s. This one is a good H2, which I have it set to be an H2. This one would be a good H3. This could be a good H3, paragraph, and so on. I typically set the main navigation as navigation links. So nav right there. And I think these are set to be navs. And you want to set those as navs because if you've ever searched for a site or searched for something in Google and seen how it says like the website's name and then it lists out a few of the pages below, the goal is that hopefully Google picks up on those pages as being your main navigation pages. And so if you set the links in your site to be nav, um, hopefully it lists those pages there instead of picking up random ones because you don't have any control over which sites it, which pages it picks up um, and it could pick up really random ones that you don't really want there. So hopefully it listens to you and picks up your nav. Um, we get a lot of questions about how to change the headings that appear in a blog post. Um, so this is my demo site and I have some examples in here. Generally with show it, it's going to pick up those settings from your design settings in here. Um, you can change those and that will change the way that they look in your posts. It also might change the way that some of your titles and headings look on your site. So if you want to really play with it, I would probably make a duplicate of your site and then change the titles and headings in here to see how much of your site it's going to impact and how much work it's going to be for you to fix it. Cause it could be a lot if you like change the style of this title, which is which is normally the H1. So I would just be careful with it. But if you really wanted to play with it, you could do that in here. You could also target them with CSS. So I generally turn on the, the browser inspect element and you can do that in Chrome settings. And then I will right click it. And then from here, you can kind of see what the name of your heading is. And this is like super kind of advanced stuff. Um, and you can look and see what classes it lives into so so like if for example we wanted this h2 to be bigger we could look and see where it what kind of heading styles it has so these are the classes and then we could play with what it would look like if i made it a bigger font size so like font size 52 pixels just for example um and it looks like if i did that it made some other headings bigger so i guess this is also an h2 but I could kind of like play with it and see the way it looks in here. And if I like it, I could just copy the styles and you could come into your single post page. That's the only place it needs to be. Make sure you're clicked on this single post right here. Go to advanced and then go to custom CSS. And then you can paste it here. Um, this may not always work. if it. If it's not working after you publish and update your blog, first thing I generally try is adding an important class. So add important to anything that you're changing. So like if I wanted this to be 32 pixels, I would add important to the end and hopefully that would override the styles. Um, and again, this is super advanced stuff, but if you really wanted to change the headings, this is how I would start to play with it. Um, if that's not working, you can try looking for different classes in here, but this kind of gets cut into the nitty gritty of CSS. So unless you're comfortable with HTML and CSS, I probably wouldn't play with this too much. So I hope this helps. Feel free to reach out to us at support at if you have any questions.